Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 38 from GATE DA23 paper. This question is based on Python uh, code. Okay. So let's discuss this particular question. Consider the following Python code. So this code is given to us. So here they have defined one function that is basically a count. And this particular function is taking two input. First one is child underscore dictionary and second one is i. So we had, so here the count function is defined which is taking two input, right? If i not in child underscore dictionary dot keys. Now this particular thing, dictionary dot keys will give me the list of keys of a dictionary, right? Right? I hope you all know what is dictionary is. So please watch my previous videos based on dictionary, how if a statement works, how for loop works, right? So and what are the operations uh, in the dictionary, okay? So this is basically a list of keys of a dictionary. Now if you observe, dictionary consists of key value pairs, right? If I say dictionary, so we use curly braces to represent a dictionary in Python also. We use curly braces to define a dictionary, right? So dictionary consists of key value pair. So for example, key one separated by a colon, then its corresponding value one. Then key two separated by a colon, then its corresponding value two till key n and value n. Okay. So here one thing to note that key is unique in the particular dictionary. And if I want to find out the value of some particular key, so how we can do that? So just mention dictionary name. Inside the square bracket, just mention the key that will give the corresponding value. So, for example, key 2. If I mention key 2 using this particular dictionary, so I will get the value from this particular dictionary corresponding to the key 2. That is basically value 2, right? And also, if I say dictionary key 5 equals to 3, right? So, if this particular key is present, then it will update that particular key. And for example, in the dictionary, if key 5 is present, it will update that particular value to 3. Or if key 5 is not present, then it will add this particular key value pair in the dictionary, right? So these are the few operations on the dictionary. So please watch my previous video on dictionary, okay? Now, here, if i not in this particular keys, so we are checking whether this particular i is not in the list. If it is true, then we are going to return 1, right? If it is not true, then we'll go to a next line of code that is basically this one. So here we have defined one variable ans equals to one. Then here we have for loop for j in this particular dictionary that is child underscore dictionary i. And this i is coming from this particular input, right? Now answer equals to plus equal. No, now answer plus equals to count. Now again, we are calling the function inside the same function here. So we are calling this particular count function inside the same function. So this is what recursion is. Okay. So this question is based on the recursion technique in Python. So we have discussed recursion in Python. So please watch that video before solving this type of questions. Okay. So this is what recursion is. We are calling a function inside a function. Okay. And I hope you know what this plus equal to means. This means that I can write this particular expression like this ans equals to ans plus count then in bracket child underscore dictionary comma j so here plus equals to means equal to that same variable ans will be there right and then we are returning the this particular variable ans right so this is what this particular function is doing now let's look at this particular line of code so what we are doing here, child underscore dictionary equals to dictionary, right? So this is a function dictionary, right? So we have defined one variable that is basically child underscore dictionary is an empty dictionary as of now, okay? Now what we are doing, we are adding the key value pair. So this is what we are adding. So for this particular key 0, the value is list 1 comma 2. So this will be like this, child underscore dictionary then in curly braces, 0 is the key and the corresponding value is 1, 2. Again, we are adding one key that is 1 and the corresponding values are list of 3, 4, 5. So, comma, corresponding values are 3, 4, 5, right? 
again same thing at this line also for this particular key 2 we are adding the corresponding values that is basically a list consists of 6 7 8 right so this is what dictionary is so we have executed this particular line of code now we are printing count child underscore dictionary 0 so we are calling this function at this particular point so we are going to call this function and it is taking this particular dictionary as an input and i equals to 0 right now let us discuss this particular function okay so this particular function will take this particular dictionary as an input and the value of i equals to 0 okay so this is what we need to find out we need to print right now if i not in child underscore dictionary keys so this is basically a list of the keys so what is the keys here in this particular dictionary so what are the keys here in this particular dictionary 0 1 and 2 so this will be a list of keys that is 0 comma 1 comma 2 like this okay if i the value of i is 0 here if 0 not in this particular list this is false because 0 is present in the list right so i am not going to return 1 i will go for this line of code answer equals to 1 then for j in child underscore dictionary i now what this third particular thing is doing child underscore dictionary i but the value of i is 0 here right so child underscore dictionary 0 so basically it will give the value corresponding to the key 0 so if you see this is my key 0 and the corresponding value is 1 comma 2 so this will return the list 1 comma 2 now this particular for loop is iterating over this list 1 comma 2 okay i hope this is clear up till now now here we have variable ans equals to 1 now ans equals to ans plus this particular thing but the value of ans is basically 1 so i am writing it here 1 plus count underscore dictionary comma j so again we are calling this particular function here right so this will be count so this will be count dictionary right so count cd i'm just writing in short form cd comma j now the value of j for the first iteration is one here right because for j in this particular list so for the first iteration the value of j is basically a one right so what this will do one so again we are calling this function here now the input will be taken by this dictionary and the value of i is basically one now for the next iteration let me use a different pin now the value of i is one here so again we are checking if i not in the list but the value of i is one so one is in the list right so we are not going to return one then we have answer equals to one okay then for j in child underscore dictionary i but the value of i is what here one right so this contains a dictionary that is three comma four comma five okay okay so let me write it down here for the first iteration what we have done here we have count this at cd comma zero right then what we have done the zero is basically list of one comma twos so this will return cd zero will return 1 comma 2 right 1 comma 2 now the answer is basically 1 because this is written as like this ans equals to ans plus count cd comma j right so we can write like this now what is happening here what we have done answer is basically what 1 plus count of cd comma 1 right so this is what count of cd comma 1 now we are calling here this function again now what will the output of this particular function we need to see the output of this particular function will be if i just erase this particular thing now the value of i is 1 here i is in the list so list is 0 1 comma 2 so 1 is present in the list so this is false so we are not going to return 1 a n s equals to 1 for j in child underscore dictionary the value of i is basically 1 now and it will give the corresponding value corresponding to this particular key 1 that is basically 3 comma 4 comma 5 so that is 3 comma 4 comma 5 right now if you observe we are doing this for j equals to 1 for this particular list right now what will happen answer equals to answer answer equals to answer plus thing right so this will give me again 1 plus 
count of cd now the value of j for this particular dictionary is what see here right because j in this particular dictionary is 3 is 3 here right now what this function will return again we are going to call in this function now the value of i is basically 3 if 3 not in this particular list yes this is true now because 3 is not present in this particular list so it will return 1 so output of this particular function will be 1 like this right right but this is for when the value of j equals to 1 now what about the next iteration when the value now this is for when the value of j equals to 3 because for the first iteration the value of j is 3 and the second iteration the value of j will be 4. Now what this will return answer right. So what is the answer up till now 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is basically 3 right because we are not going through this particular thing we are just iterating a for loop now because the value of j equals to 3 we got 1 now the next element is 4 and the next element is 5 right. After going to for loop only we can uh, return this particular thing right. Now 3 plus the next is j. So what is the value of this thing? Answer equals to count plus this j right. So j is 4 here. Again the value of i is basically 4. Now 4 is not in the dictionary. Yes this is true. So we are going to return 1. So I am going to return 1. Now in the next iteration the value of j is basically a 5. Again same thing we are going to calling this particular function. Now here also 5 is not in the list so again we are going to return 1. Okay. So the value of ans is basically equals to 5. Right. So this is for when, when the value of j equals to 1 for the first iteration when the value of i was 0. Okay. If you remember this thing. Right. So this for the first iteration when the value of i was 1 here. Right. This thing. Now in the second case what we are doing. Now when the value of j equals to 2 because this is we are doing when the value of j was 1 okay. Now the value of j is 2 now here this thing right because we are in the still in the first for loop now okay we are going back to first for loop now. What will happen now here for j equals to 2 right. Now the value of j is basically 2 here. Now again going for a next iteration the value of this particular thing answer equals to answer plus count of child underscore dictionary j. So j is basically 2 now. Now if I call this function 2 what I will get 2 not in the dictionary 2 not in the list that is false because 2 is in the list. So go for this one. So answer is basically equals to 1 right. So if you remember from the previous iteration the value of answer is 1 but here we are looking for j equals to 2. Now at this particular point ans will be what 1 plus again I am calling this particular function right because the value of j in child underscore dictionary 2. Now here the list of 2 is basically what 6, 7, 8 right. So here this particular cd of 2 is basically a 6, 7, 8 right. So I am iterating towards the list now. Now when j equals to 6 answer equals to 1. Right, so ans equals to 1 plus this dictionary and the value of j will be 6 for the first iteration. But if you go 6 is not in the list, so it will return 1. Okay, we are returning 1 plus for the next iteration the value of j will be 7. Again 7 is not in the list, so again it will return 1. Right, again for the next iteration the value of j will be 8. Now 8 is not also in the list, so it will return 1. So here it is 4, right. The value of this particular uh, this thing will be 4 here total for count right. So this not answer this is basically a total for this count cd2 for the second iteration when j equals to 2. For this thing we got total equals to 4 and from the for the previous iteration we got answer equals to uh, 5. So 5 plus 4 is basically a 9. So 9 will be the correct answer here. Okay. So I hope you understand this particular uh, code. It was asked for 2 marks. Little bit lengthy. But if you understand this particular code, you can do the calculation fast. So the output, so the answer of this particular code is 9. Okay.
So in this code, we are checking recursion. Okay, so very very important topic. Two question was based on recursion. So I will focus more on recursion in the test series as well as in the course. Okay. So I hope you understand this particular question and how we got the answer. Please try to solve this question again because I know you will get confused for for this thing and this thing. We are doing this because for the first iteration when we started the solving this question. We got the value of i equals to zero, and at that point, what we have done for this particular dictionary uh, key zero, we have one comma two in the list. Now we need to iterate this particular list for j equals to one, and then j equals to two, right? And after that, this will return one. Okay, so that's how uh, we got this particular answer nine. I hope you understand this particular question. And if you want me to continue this particular series of previous year gate DA solution, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so that's it from this video. Thank you.